Today's job is a fairly simple one. This has a 21 inch rims which are on tyres which are 285 wide, but there's enough space in the arch for those to be a little wider. This car is already pretty wide. It is one of the things I like best about this car, is how wide it is. But I'm just going to get a little space around the back wheels to dance it a little bit more. So this doesn't need to be a long video, but I just wanted to show you before and after with the spacers. And also, we know that spacers are safe to use now because we've been battering around a drift track up embankments and so on using spacers, so perfectly safe. Montage. I've set the wheel suspension to tyre change mode because with this air suspension it tries to self-level and you have to set it up on the menu in the car so that it doesn't freak out when you pop a wheel up in the air. This rim is filthy and you can see it's a very tight clearance so it's going to get a wire brush Give this a bit of a scuff. It'll go on, but it's tight. It's got to start the thread slightly, just in case there's a chance of stripping them. Better safe than sorry. done a very stupid thing. The stupid thing I've done is to put the regular bolts on the wheel when I'm supposed to put these little flat ones on. That's better. Here's today's bonus prize. Great. Better budget for another set of 285s. bit of a faff because I kept bringing the wrong tools out to the car and I put the wrong bolts on at one point but it's not a complicated job doesn't make a huge difference but I think that looks better
20 millimeter spacers. I don't think you could go any bigger than that. Um, and bear in mind, this suspension has been raised 10 millimeters. I've, I've uh, raised the height a little bit on the air suspension settings, um, so I can go over that kerb with a splitter when it's fitted. But that, I think that's bang on. Yeah, those are tucked in much better now. So that was not a complicated job. 100 quid for the spacers, 10 bolts, jack up the car and you're, and you're good to go. If you can be bothered searching for it, there are a few Mercedes-Benz cars which have the same stud pattern uh, with the 14 with the M14 wheel nuts. If you can be bothered finding them, and they're cheaper than the RS6 ones, you can get them for like £60 instead of spending 100 or 110 but That's good, I like that. Recommended. H&R, 20mm spacers for the RS6. Yeah, I think that's better. Right, thank you very much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this short video. Look after yourselves. Bye.